Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Richardson and I'm the WCW, uh, the WCPW review guy flubbing around the gate. And uh, this will be the last time I'll see you guys before uh, Thanksgiving. I think most of my audience is actually from Britain, so what do you guys do on Thanksgiving? If you do anything, I don't know. But uh, either way, I hope you guys have an awesome holiday. So uh, let's get into it. This is the unofficial WCPW Top 10, where I take top 10 wrestlers, top 5 uh, women's wrestlers, and top 5 tag teams. Now, before we get started, I got some uh, conversation with some people last week regarding my list. And uh, I've explained it before, I'll, I'll do it again. I'll explain it one more time. Uh, you know, the tag division especially. You know, a lot of these teams, I didn't start the tag division until it was announced officially, like, hey, there's going to be a tag title tournament. I was like, all right, tag title tournament. Tag titles are in the picture. We're doing a top, top whatever. Top three at the time, and then we built top five, whatever. So it all started there. So the tag team, such as Mustache Mountain, who was the tag team in question during this entire thing, the uh, reason they're not on my top five, they haven't won a match. They haven't won a match. Now, there are a couple, there's another team on there that hasn't won a match either, but they were featured before. And I did a video, if you want, I did a video, it was a top 10 video where I actually explained the method behind my madness, the whole process I go through. Uh, and it's actually entitled, you know, the unofficial top 10, and then in parentheses, the one where I explain things. Check it out on my video list. Uh, so that's that's that. But yeah, so that's the Mustache Mountain, and guess what? They didn't win this week either, so guess what? They're not going to be on my top five. Which I'm sure drives somebody nuts. They're like, oh my god, come on! Mustache Mountain! Sorry, guys. And then the other thing was the fact that there's some tag wrestlers still in the uh, singles list. And where I agree, yeah, that, that shouldn't be. However, you know, I give everybody kind of like that 90 day, you know, window, which is why Fat Leggero was like dominating for a while, which is ridiculous. But he was, because he was undefeated. But then guess what? His 90 days ran up. We got to see him in 90 days. Same packing. Uh, and of course, the team is you know, prospect. Uh, Alex Gracie, Lucas Archer, because at the time, there was no tag division. So their, all their tag wins, which they actually racked up quite a few, was being put into just their overall whatever, and it bumped them up the list pretty quickly. So they're, if you notice, uh, Alex Gracie, Lucas Archer, they're almost, almost always on my top 10 every week. Uh, and that's the reason why, just because before the tag division became a thing, there wasn't one, and so their wins put him on here. Same with Johnny Moss. Johnny Moss is on here like all the time as well. And uh, same thing, just because phew, before tag division. Now, they haven't competed in singles action. Once that 90 day run out, I'll boot them off the top 10 and we'll bring someone else in. But until then, gotta be fair. Gotta, do, gotta be consistent with everything. So uh, that is why certain people are on the list. So there you go. Uh, once again, check out that video. If you got any questions about what I'm talking about, you'll be like, uh. otherwise, let's get into it. Let's do it. Top five. WCPW Tag Teams. Uh, at number five, they dropped the spot this past week. I'm talking about Amin and Kid. Amin and Kid. They were four, now they're five. At number four, a brand new tag team who just debuted. I'm talking about the Swords of Essex. The Swords of Essex, they had a big win over Mustache Mountain. It, it, Mustache Mountain would have won. It could have been them in this spot, but it didn't. So, see, spending much time goofing around, playing for Mustache, and doing this vertical suplex thing, and then passing it off three or four times. Guess what? <laughs> You can win matches. So as Essex didn't do that shit. They went in there, got the job done, and won. And they're number four, so there you go. Uh, at number three, for a second week in a row, we got Moss and Slater. Moss and Slater. At number two, for a second week in a row as well, the Strong Style Collective. That's right. And number one, going, going into their fifth week at number one, Prospect. Prospect. Number one tag team WCPW right now, so. All right, or unofficially, I should say. Uh, we're going on the women's division. This has not changed at all from last week, so I'll just kind of run through it. Number five, third week in a row, Lil Miss Roxy. Number four, for a third week in a row, Kimberly. Uh, at number three, for a seventh week in a row, Alex Windsor. Uh, at number two, for a seventh week in a row, B Priestley. And number one, for seventh weeks in a row, uh, we got Nixon Newell. So there you have it, Nixon. We need more women's matches. We need more. We need to have more than just one set of match per month. We need to actually get going, get this moving a little bit more. So, so there you go. Nixon Newell, number one women's wrestler, unofficially and officially because she is the champion. So, all right. So let's move on to the top ten, shall we? Now this week at number ten, uh, we got someone new on here. Uh, he's been here before. He was here a little over a month ago, but he's back. Will Osprey. 
a huge win over uh, Martin Kirby. By hook or by crook, but he still won and got him on top 10, so Will Ospreay. Number nine for a uh, second week in a row, Alex Gracie. Number eight, dropping two spots from last week. We just mentioned him. He lost this past week. Martin Kirby. Martin Kirby drops down the list. So, At number seven, going up the list, because when someone goes down, someone must go up. Uh, number seven, Primate, up a spot. Uh, at number six, also up a spot, Johnny Moss. Number five, dropping a spot, Joe Coffey. Joe Coffey was four last week. He's, he's five this week. Uh, at number four, the little switcheroo there, Lucas uh, Archer went up. I can't explain that. I did the numbers three times just to make sure it, it's correct. That happens every now and then. Every now and then you have two people who don't even wrestle a week, and they'll just somehow switch. But there's been some movement, so maybe that helps shift it. I don't know. I don't pretend to know. List. Number three. For six weeks running, uh, he's the internet champion, El Aguero. El Aguero. Uh, and, of course, he had a huge uh, internet title defense this past week. So, he, this guy, this top three is not moving for a while. It's because they're just damn good. Uh, yeah, so there you go, El Aguero. Defeated uh, Mars Grohl, so he's staying there. Uh, at number two, also six weeks running, we got Joe Hendry. Of course, he had a big win over uh, Doug Williams this past week, keeping the spot there. And at number one, also, six weeks running, uh, we got Joseph Connors. And he, of course, is the WCPW champion. So, unofficially and officially, he is the number one guy in WCPW. So, you guys agree with this list? Do you disagree with this list? Let me know in the comment section down below. And one final time, let me just throw a big uh, congrats to uh, Prospect, Nixon Newell, and Joseph Connors. You guys are all number one in your respective divisions. Congratulations. So guys, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, show this video that thumb and love. Follow me over on Twitter, WCPW Review Guy One, and at Facebook, WCPW Review Guy. Uh, so yeah, that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great holiday, and uh, yeah, that's it. So till next time.